Definitely not the best news for the Minnesota Vikings. Our rookie quarterback, the future of the franchise, has an injury already after the week one preseason game. Now, one report stating that it's routine soreness. That's what Kevin O'Connell. But then you got Judd from Purple Daily coming out with another report of how he felt in the room when Kevin O'Connell was asked. And he said, clearly a concern. And listening to Kevin O'Connell address it, you get the feeling that even Vikings aren't quite sure about the potential severity. Obviously, the fact he might not travel indicates there is real worry. Now, I got to say, I agree with that, okay? If he doesn't travel to Cleveland, because obviously we have the joint practices going on this week, if he doesn't travel, then there's something deeper, right? There's something we can look into. But I also understand our coach, Kevin O'Connell. All right, after him being our coach for two years, you know, us as fans, we kind of know how he operates. And he's very, very cautious when it comes to injuries. We know that. He's been like that in the past. And when, it, when a player gets injured, it can be a little tweak. It isn't like Mike Zimmer. Well, Mike Zimmer would tell us, oh, nah, it's just routine soreness. And then the guy has a torn ACL or something like that. The truth is the guy actually has a torn ACL. All right. I think Kevin O'Connell is usually transparent with us, especially when it comes to injuries. Now, he's going to address this on Wednesday. So we'll see exactly what's going on. I mean, I'm sure they're going to run tests again tomorrow to get to the bottom of what's really going on with J.J. McCarthy. But from what I'm looking at, like if I had to make judgment now, First of all, let's hope that it gets better. Let's pray that it gets better. Let's pray that it's not anything serious, right? Um, he's a young man, and at the end of the day, this isn't college. And you know what? There's probably veterans on the team that after that game, they're probably sore too. But you know what? This is another learning experience for our boy, man. Our boy can learn that, hey, this is what it's like, bro. You got grown men hitting you now, for real, for real. This isn't college football anymore. You're going to have this soreness going throughout the season and from what I hear and what we usually hear from NFL players, it only gets worse as the season progresses. When you get into November and December, like the sort of you almost your body just becomes numb to it, man. You just got to get used to it. Right. That's what they say. Now, I would never know, obviously, but that's the word on the streets, man. So, again, this could just be something where Kevin O'Connell's playing super cautious like he always has done in the past. So this is a trend for him. He's known to do this. And he can come on Wednesday and say, oh, no, really, it was just he was just sore, you know, kind of banged his knee on one of the hits when he scrambled or something like that. And then just kind of wanted to take it, take it, play precaution, didn't want to put any extra pressure on there because there is certain injuries where if something's sore or something's hurting, it might not be tore all the way until you do a simple drop back and then it can get worse. So, again, this team is going to be very, very cautious, especially with their future quarterback. But this still isn't great news for the Minnesota Vikings, man. I'm still bummed about it. You hear me? Like, I wanted to see him tonight, man. I feel bad for the fans that were there at night practice to watch J.J. McCarthy under the lights shine. And now they can't. But it's all right. Sam Darnold, man. Hey, look, I got something coming for Sam Darnold, man. I'm going to tell you right now. I actually want to give him a chance, man. After watching his postgame conference, man, there, there's something that pulled the heartstrings. You know, they pull rap heartstrings a little bit, man. I'm going to keep it real with you. So we'll get to that, man. Although I know J.J. McCarthy is the future and Kevin O'Connell and the staff are treating it as such. It, it's a diamond, man. They're cherishing it. That's all that's going on. But it still is a bummer, man. Hopefully it gets better. Let's pray for J.J. McCarthy, man. Let me know how y'all feel down in the comments, man. Are you concerned? You're not concerned? What is it? Is it actual soreness? Is it something bigger than that? Let's figure it out, man. I'll let your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer, who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gonna do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toast with you. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm touring. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage.